Hi, welcome to my channel, Roid Speaks. And in this video, I'm going to extend again on my hormone series. So this is episode five. And we're going to go, last time I talked about thyroid gland, which is in your neck region. Now I'm going to go down towards your lungs. In between your lungs or in your trachea, there is another gland called as thymus gland. And the hormones it releases, so I'm going to talk about that. So thymus is the gland which is in between your lungs. There is a trachea going down, so it's right there. And what's the role and function of this? So thymus technically produces hormones which are responsible to mature your white blood cells into T cells. What are T cells? So T cells are nothing but they help you in your immunity. They help you fight the infections going on. So technically, I give you a short overview of what T cells are. So there is three different versions of T cells. There is cytotoxic, there is helper, and then there is regulatory. So cytotoxics are the ones which will attack the virus or the bacteria attacking your system. Helper T cells are the ones they have, oh, they will say, oh, there is an attack going on, please come and help. They are the ones which will go around your body to get another type of antibodies and stuff to the area which is being attacked. So those are called as helper T cells. And then there is regulatory T cells. So these are the ones they go around the body to check if there is no unknown reaction happening. So if there is a attack going on and when it is completed, the T cells have to go away. If they are not going away, they will lead to autoimmune or any other diseases or any other issues or that gland or that tissue will start getting attacked. So to al allow to not happen that, regulatory T cells basically go and check if there is no unnecessary attacking going on and they take them back to the area in your lymph nodes, in your bone marrow. So thymus technically produces hormones which are responsible to make or mature your white blood cells into T cells, which helps you in your immunity or in your immune function. So the hormones which are released by thymus are thymosin, thymolin, thymopoietin, and thymic uh, humoral factors. The whole, all of these hormones, all of it are required to either to make the T cells, to help them regulate it, or to maintain the immune system. There, there is no other specific function like your growth or your cells. They are just there for your immunity. And somatomedin is another hormone which is released by thymus, but only upon when there is growth hormone released by your pituitary, goes and binds to your thymus, and it releases this somatomedin as also your insulin growth factor, which helps with your blood cells. But that's a, after there is growth hormone. But directly released from thymus are the thymopoietin, thymosin, thymolin, and thymic humoral factor. Technically, there have these hormones, or if there is no thymus in your system, basically, if there is no thymus, there is no human system in you. There will be no T cells helping you with your immunity. So that's the basic drawback, is that you will not have any immunity. But this thymus is very unique because... As you can see, when you are newborn or when you don't hit puberty, your thymus is very active. Basically, it makes most of your major of your T cells makes it and stores it in your lymph nodes and it stores it in your body. So whenever you have infection, it will go and fight it. So if you can see, billions of cells are produced when you are newborn. It goes down to 800 million when you are 10 year old. When you hit puberty, you see it goes down to 600 million and then maybe 100 million or less as you grow older, which also if you see your thyroid, your thymus, not thyroid, your thymus gland is very open, very secretive, and then slowly, slowly fat starts accumulating as you age. Now, this also shows senescence or basically aging that human, they grow, they grow, grow, grow. And then when you hit aging, it try, it is basically your immune cells, your cells, your organ starts to go away. So thymus is one of the glands which goes away as you age because it has already done its part, it has made those cells stored in lymph nodes. So whenever you, there is an activity, it will go and attack it. So this is a uh, thymus, which what it does is basically releases hormones or factors which helps your immune system. And it is active only up to your puberty where it makes majority of these hormones. After that, it just, the activity goes down. Hence, when there is a thymus issue, it's usually when you're young, and you will have immunodeficiency or your immune system will be lost. People have taken immunotherapy, basically take additional T cells so that it goes around your body and still be there. You can survive even if there is no thymus in your system or if there is enough thymus, uh, thymus uh, producing hormones, but 
if you need help you can you need to be very uh, secluded from the environment so that you don't get affected and your immune system is not getting activated so basically there are people who are immunodeficient or doesn't have thymus activity they have to live in like a bubble or like in a very controlled environment so they don't uh, get attacked by these diseases and die because there will be no other immune system to help them and that's how it is with the thymus issues uh, apparently there is no disorder if there is less of this hormone or less of that it's just it's just you will have less human cells so thymus is a is a gland technically producing something helping your immune system not anything in your body to regulate your temperature or any of those it's just to help you with your immune system so with that i would like to close off this video um, which is about the thymus and the hormones which it makes in the next one i will start following up with the adrenal gland which is the gland next to your kidney so i'm going down the order so the next one up will be the adrenal gland so if you have any questions on this hormone series or if you want to know about oh, what is the alternative therapy, I can make another video on this hormonal therapy and what's going on with that. Please leave any comments if you have in the comment section and I'll follow up. Till then, I'll see you in the next one and I'll start with the adrenal hormones or adrenal glands. See you.